Hey guys, yes, I am in a crazy mood tonight. It is going to be a hell of a thrifting video. You see all this? I got a mountain of stuff. So, um, I went into a pawn shop and I met with the district manager and I was like, you got that bucket of shit back there. How much do you want for all of it? So we counted out the pieces. There was about 20 something pieces. And I said, I'll tell you what, I'll give you 50 bucks. I don't know if they work or not, but I want them. And he said, okay, so we're going to go through some of the cool shit that I got. So start with my new little racing wheel. So here, let's move this guy up so I can see all y'all's wonderful faces. There we go. So this right here, this is an official... Uh, made by Hori, H-O-R-I. It is a uh, Mario uh, steering wheel for the Wii system. You put your nunchuck, one of these, in here, and the little buttons push. So, now, let's keep track. You ready? I paid 50 bucks. I'm into each little item here for about $2.00. This guy here, sell it, 25 bucks, like that. They're hard to find. These original ones, these crappy old generic ones, uh, sell for about 10 bucks. So let's do a quick little tally. 20, 10, 10. I am now at $40. But wait, there's more, like the chamois wow dude. Ho, oh, ho, the holy grail. These things here are like gold. So this is a cassette adapter for um, super VHS tapes. You put it in here, and then you're able to play it on a DVD, or I'm sorry, uh, a VHS player. They don't make these. They haven't made these in a decade. So I'll sell this for 60 40 plus 60 means I'm at 100. But what am I going to do with the rest of this stuff? Well, we're going to sell it is what we're going to do. So these are Xbox Connect. It's a video um, system. Uh, you One, you can live stream back and forth each other. They're for the Xbox 360. They're old. And I sell them for 25 each. So I got one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven. Seven of them. I think I'm, to, to, to quote Roy Scheider, I think I need a bigger boat. Yeah, so seven of them at 25 each. Uh, so that's about 150 bucks there. Uh, more, actually. But, so, I digress. Ah, let's see, let's see, let's see. Nunchucks for the Wii. Well, no, these are the remotes. So, we got remotes. We got one, two. To be honest, they go for about 10 bucks after fees and everything. So, we got one, two, uh, three. I think that's it. I think I only got three of those bad boys. Oh, four. So that's 40 bucks there. Then I got these. These are the wires. Um, it's the, for the Wii system, you, you have to have this. You have to have the sensor bar. That's what a lot of people don't understand. When you buy a system uh, used, if you don't have the sensor bar, it's junk. Nothing will work. So... We have one, and these I sell for 20, two, three, four, four of those. Um, that's another 80. Then what else do we got? What else do we got? We've got some little nunchuckies. I sell these between five and $10. Depends on the model. So we've got four of them. We'll just call it 40 bucks. How about that? Oh. Five of them. 
So call it 45? Yeah, we'll call it 45. We'll round down today. It's round down. It's a round down kind of day. So, oh, we got some more of these. Um, so that's another 10 bucks. Oh, so the other thing that I sell a lot of are manuals, especially for things that um, aren't made anymore. This is for a Fujifilm Fine Picks. It's an uh, instructional manual. I've got, I don't even think I got the English one. So this is Espanol and this is French. So we'll see. I'll put them up online. They sell, they sell. If they don't, they don't. Now, this is a cool little deal here. These are UV lamp bulbs. Um, these I'll sell for $30. They're brand new, still sealed in the package. So that's a really, really good lick. Um, some drill bits still sealed. This is an aftermarket gun for the Wii. Put the nunchuck in here. And then that little thing... He moves so we got shooting games and it plugs in here so anyhow um, I don't know how much this will be I, I haven't researched this one yet so we're not gonna put it on the table yet as far as money wise now Nintendo GameCube remotes these are straight up Nintendo it's a Nintendo brand you're looking, last time I looked, and don't quote me, like 20 bucks each. So there's 60 there. Then we've got a very old Sega Dreamcast controller. It'll go for about 15, plus it's got the memory card. So maybe 20 for the whole thing. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Some of it's gotta be cleaned up. And then, of course, I've got the power adapter for a Nintendo 64. I got to look that up. Oh, wait, there's more. I got another nunchuck or controller. So, what did I say those were? That would don't matter. It's all profit at this point, baby. And then this. This is for an RCA. I don't know what it is, but it's old as shit. Now, these remotes are kind of like my little bread and butter they've become it see and this is all brand new it's still sealed with the antenna this is a remote when you're buying remotes always 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 try to i didn't get to look today uh this was kind of a i didn't want him changing his mind you know i mean he bid on the 50 dollars price and that's where i was gonna leave it it was actually 50 dollars out the door all right so here's a perfect example. See that? See how the batteries are starting to corrode? So I got to get these bad boys out of here and dispose of them correctly. I've got a little bin for batteries over here. And it doesn't appear. There's a little tiny bit of corrosion on the spring. So what I will do is I will take a Q-tip <coughs> with vinegar and clean that up. And luckily, it did not get any further than to the compartment. It's just uh, isolated to that spring. So I'll Google this. It's an RCA remote. And it does not have a model number, which is a slight pain in the ass. But we'll see about it. Yeah, it's just, it says remote. <clears throat> but luckily, I have the antenna that came with it. <clears throat> and the manual so let's take a quick little gander see if we've got some kind of model number I know this is probably not that exciting oh yeah we got the manual and the user model number so I'll be able to do some research on that <clears throat> and find out what model that remote goes to and find out if it makes us money. Now, I could do a thrifting recap of all the shit that I sold today. As a matter of fact, I probably will. But, yes, I am in a rare mood tonight. Um, keep your eyes and your ears open. 
be looking for stuff in the current state of the world right now. So I was at work and I remember bringing this in for a loan and this was pre-corona, COVID-19. And, well, I'm gonna show you the price I paid. So hang on. It's not fair to show you, tell you what I sold it for without proof of what I bought it for. So, that right there. Uh, we'll do the English side, and then we'll do the Spanish side. That is a 3M full face, full head, uh, respirator mask with filters now a year ago these sold for in the neighborhood of 40 bucks and I bought it at the pawn shop for $61 minus my employee discount which was 20% so I picked it up for what I think it was $46 something like that 46 bucks I think I don't really, really remember. Hang on, I can tell you. <clears throat> so, lay away paid. I bought it for $48.80 plus tax. So I paid a total of $57 and change for this. Now, when I put it in layaway, because I didn't have the money. I mean, I know I'm hustling and I'm trying to get ahead. And this week, magic's happening. But I didn't have the money to, to buy it straight out. So what I did was I took pictures of it while I was at work, put it in layaway, and then I put it online this morning when I went to work. And I sold it about 10 minutes after I posted it. Now, paid $58 for it, and I sold it for $150 today. And I have zero qualms about it because one it wasn't intended as a medical mask it's not it's a full respirator for like going into tankers and shit like that it's a actual working mask for chemical stuff like that so sold it for 150 so it's 92 dollar profit something like that no more than that that's a pretty good lick, right? So anyhow, um, that's what's going on. Uh, I'll do another little quick video after this. I sold golf clubs today. I sold my Kinky Friedman doll. I sold all this shit today. I mean, eBay was on fire. And the funny part was that the entire time I'm at work, my phone doesn't work because I have T-Mobile. I mean, all of a sudden, I'm not getting text messages from my boss. I'm not getting anything and then my phone goes dead the rest of the day now on my way home all of a sudden my phone service comes back on and my phone is exploding with these cash register sounds cha-ching 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 cha -ching. i could write a song so anyhow it was a great day um but you know keep your eyes and ears you see stuff like this it is selling for an, a, a crazy amount of money and I think there's going to be two more of them coming out at work this week. And I will damn sure buy those and turn around and sell them for 152 Now, I do have one for myself. It's also in layaway that I'm going to keep for myself. And uh, that's it. So, uh, no, I'm not going to do a recap video of my sales. I've already told you those. It was a great day. But, uh, you know, going to these places, whether it's Goodwill, Salvation Army, Pawn Shops, Thrift Shops, whatever... And you see a bucket of stuff like this, just go, hey, you know what? I'm buying these sight unseen as far as I don't know if they work or not. They're untested. I'll give you a dollar each. And, you know, I got surprised by the um, VHS adapter. That just, the minute I saw it, and I'd seen another video on YouTube about them, the when I saw it and I pulled it out and it was intact, I was like... All right, I'll tell you what, I'll do $2 on each one. Let's do 50 out the door. And that's what it was. It was, see all my shit? It was a total, 
with tax and everything, $50.63. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to photograph the high-end stuff, and we'll call this the 5150, the crazy buy, and we'll track it. I'll track it over the next few days and tell you exactly how much I make on a $51.50 uh, purchase. And that's about it, guys. Much love. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Mosey is taking a nap because he was a little nerd today. And uh, that's about it. We'll see you next time, okay?